Hi guys! Today we're going to work on this beautiful flower which is very easy to make and it's pretty big in size. It's almost 12 inches or 30 centimeters and it consists of two layers of petals and one giant beautiful flower center. We'll make a little bit different center today. A flower with a different center. Uh, what we'll need two group of petals, one in size one and then size two and a base. The base I use, that's a round circle uh, in size of six inches or 15 centimeters and the height of the petals uh, is five inches and four and a half inches and you can get these templates in our shop. Link is uh, right under this video. Um, and now I show you what we do. So we take the stack of um, first uh, layer petals in size one, and there are eight of them with a cut in the middle. And what I do, I take a thin uh, glue stick and I curl the whole stack all at once. This way if you fail this is a little bit hard for you you can do you can divide the stock in half and uh, curl first four of them and then another group of four so what I do with the second layer I curl same way because I use double-sided designer paper and it is 120 GSM thick it's metallic coated designer paper so this is my right side and this is my back side of the petal so which means for the first layer I curl them backwards for the second layer I curl them upwards and now I need to glue all of them uh, I mean glue the, those flaps I add just a little bit of glue and glue and Touch flaps this way so we're just shaping our petals just a bit I call this flower lotus well, it's not real lotus, but it looks like lotus. Pretty close in shape of petal. And here we go. For the second layer of petals, I glue them a little bit differently so they and upright a little bit more and using one template you can make different types of flowers playing around the uh, size of the petal, the depth of middle cut, and the number of petal in each layer. Next, what we do is we need to glue all the petals to the base circle. And I use a tiny loop just uh, to allow my customers to hang flowers. So I glue this loop to my base and take the first petal of the first layer and glue it this way. Then I distribute evenly all eight petals on my base. So the best way to do this is to start with a group of four and then to fulfill those gaps in between. And 
here we go with the first layer done and now we go with the second one and I do I place all my eight petals of the second layer right in between petals of my first layer so that's easy peasy and almost there and here we go nearly finished so you can see i used completely different color uh, backing for my uh, nude color flower um, i always start with the backing and i need it to be absolutely beautiful as beautiful as the flower itself so it is absolutely uh perfect from the back but uh if you so this uh center part isn't nice at the moment if you plan to use a center like this the this part doesn't matter because it won't be visible at all just go ahead and glue this but if you use any smaller size center for example now i plan to use this one so what happens you can see a little bit of your base um, circle from underneath the um, the flower center so i would like to cover this so i cut the circle which uh, will cover all those gaps and i glue this circle to make sure the inner part of my flower looks as beautiful as the outer part of my flower and as the back end of my flower everything must be absolutely beautiful so this is what what's going on top of this flower uh, into the center this is a very popular center uh, flower center at uh, Sydney paper flowers and if you want to learn how to make this flower center or this flower center, you can subscribe to our channel and uh, watch the video about those flower centers. So we need just to glue this and our flower is ready. And we can form a group of them for a beautiful backdrop. Enjoy this video. Please use the link uh, at the bottom of this video uh, in the description under this video to get our Lotus template.